We're told we will get that decision on whether or not bail will be granted. We've heard as well the prosecutor pushing his position that bail should not be given, saying that really if the defence wanted to convince the world and the bail hearing uh, itself about Pistorius's innocence or at least r the reason he should be released, that he shouldn't have given an affidavit. The defence team, according to the prosecution, should have allowed him to speak in court. And they say that undermines everything that they're saying. We've heard the defence attorney come back in the last half an hour or so and begin to undermine what the prosecution lawyer has been saying, um, a reference uh, where a pistol was left on a bath mat, saying that was a natural place for it to be left, just dropped after the incident. So arguments and counter arguments, but the defense saying, look, this is not murder. At the most, this should be is culpable homicide that you can't say, which is what the prosecution has been saying, this is according to the defense at least, that because Pistorius went to the bathroom, shot through the door with the intent of killing what he thought was a burglar, you can transfer that to meaning he was intending to kill Riva Steenkamp. So this is where it lies, really high stakes, but a decision in the next two and a half hours. Zane? How's he holding up personally? You know, when he came in today, he'd had a change of suit, he'd got a change of clothes. He was looking down when the photographers were in the courtroom at the very beginning taking photographs. His head was down low. Uh, he was looking at the ground. There's certainly at times, perhaps an hour and a half into the proceedings, and again we've heard in the last few minutes or so, he's broken down a little. He's cried. Um, sobbed in the courtroom. Very much an emotional stress for him and that's what we heard from his coach when he went in. His coach saying, look, if he gets out on bail, what I want to do with him is get him back on the running track, get him, get him, in, get him into his routine of running, not because I want to enter him into races, but because that's going to help him deal with all of this that's going on, a huge amount of turmoil. So real concern there coming from his coach about his mental well-being. Zane? And what about Reva Steenkamp's family? How are they doing? Well, we've heard that uh, the lady known as his Johannesburg mother has been in the court saying that uh, really wanted, uh, you know, the family to be represented in the courtroom. Of course, while the hearing's been going on uh, in the early days, Reva Steenkamp was, was buried. A very difficult time for her, fa for her family, very clearly, with this uh, case being so high profile. But we've also heard from uh, Pistorius's family issuing a statement saying that their feelings and thoughts go out to Reva Steenkamp's family, also saying that they understand that this judicial process uh, for the bail hearing must be played out in full. His family saying they understand why it should happen and they do want it to go through the full process here.